Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing, oh, this thing. Cayman Jack Moscow Mule. Now, I don't know anything about cocktails. I know Moscow Mule is a type of cocktail. So this company uh, makes flavored beers, flavored ales that try to mimic certain cocktails. I have an alligator on it. Because a Cayman, which is a type of alligator in South uh, America. Crocodile. Okay, so this company is saying, oh, we only use natural ingredients, no artificial flavors, they don't add coloring. Made with lime juice and ginger beer. So you take ginger beer and lime juice. 5.8% mm. alcohol malt beverage with natural flavors. Flavored ale, it's made in Arizona. They have a new brewery in Arizona. They have one in New Jersey. There's a, there's a third one they're building. Can't remember where. Okay, I know you don't typically buy these types of things. Well, no, we're kind of in a hurry right now, too. So, sorry, but these videos are going to be short and probably kind of not as informative as the other ones. Well, sometimes we go too long anyway. All right, um... We? Me. Okay, I'll we. take the blame. Okay. So, it looks like, to me... Gray. Gray. Like lamade or something. And if you went to, like, what's that place? It's all the flavors to drop through. A daiquiri place? Um, I'm not no. sure. No. Uh, it's like they sell all the burgers and stuff. You have two guys that are comedians and they sit there and talk about all. Oh, Sonic? Sonic. Yeah. So it's cloudy. All right, so lime juice is added and ginger beer. And it's gray. That's weird. <clears throat> they don't add color. And anytime Why you take. It's a gray. Anytime you take these beer based products and you don't add color and they come out this yellowish gray. Smells like lime and ginger with a bready beer base. The taste, oh, cane sugar, lime, ginger. Mm -hmm. That's about all you get. Cane sugar, lime, ginger. Ginger. I don't know what a Moscow mule is supposed to taste like. Not like this. This is like a Moscow Mule mixer before you add the liquor, liquor to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And at 5.8%, it's pretty low alcohol, but... Um, it, these... just, it doesn't even taste like it's got alcohol in it because the flavors, the ginger and the lime are so pungent and out there. It just covers everything up. And this company... The, the, Cayman Jack is very popular, uh, at least where I live. People are just buying it. Crazy, you know, all their flavors. I've, there's two flavors I have that I've not even tried yet. I haven't tried the Paloma or the. Uh, so are you saying they're trading in Bud Light for this? Cuban Mojito. Well, they're they're adding to Bud Light. This is when they're going hi hat. <clears throat> Fun hi hat. You know what I mean? Well, what do you think about it for a tart, sugary drink? It's like a Zima with flavors. <clears throat> Zima, I hated Zima. <laughs> but you like this. It's to like me, Zima with flavor. To me, this is way better than Zima. No. This is just like <laughs> Zima with flavor. <laughs> Golly. I thought Zima was bad. I guarantee you. If you find an old Zima recipe, you make it. It's gonna be like this, and it's they, they still make lime. they still make Zima in Japan. They still sell it there. It's like three different flavors. Didn't oh. didn't didn't uh, make it so, in America. Any of our fans in Japan, send us one so we can taste it. Zima was it. one of the early flavored beers made by Coors. You remember, it had its little day when it was popular for about what a year. Yeah. In the early mid nineties, and it went. Pew, Away. All right, <clears throat> how you score? I thought this stuff was. Well, Zima was like '94 or something like that. No, I thought it was way before that. I, I don't think end so. Of the '80s, early '90s. No, I don't think so. I think Zima was like at the earliest '93. This is coming from somebody who started drinking beer in 1995. I used to watch television. I watched commercials. All right, how do you score this thing? It's okay. It's I. The whole gray look kind of throws the whole flavors off. 
Because if something that. doesn't look good or it looks obscure or different, it's going to affect the way it's taste. So if they would just add some kind of food color in, natural color to it, and make it look like something, rather than just... I guess they figure people are going to be drinking out of the cans anyway yeah. instead of glasses, and they're not going to... It's, like, really it's like the color of, of data skin from Star Trek Next Generation. Oh, yikes. Um... I, I like it a lot. I wouldn't drink this regularly. I never drink these regularly. I just review them. Uh, but um, for what it is, I'm going to give it an A. I think it's really good. I'm going to give it a 93 just like the last one. It's built pretty good. I'll give it like an A-. minus. Look about a 90. Right. Okay, well, I appreciate you doing it because I know this is not your jam. But um, Or peanut butter. Yeah, so Lazy Lay Bon Tom Relay, and we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Waddell, Arizona, and tour the American Vintage Beverages Brewery. And it's a disclaimer, I think a lot of people would like this. That is true.